Eivor. The time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life. Life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more. On my final voyage, back to Norway, to wish my father farewell, and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway? I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting. Pleasure to see you, Eivor. Shall we? Please, Eivor. Not now. Not with Sigurd there. I want to see the Alliance map. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... And beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. We will leave now, and return as soon as we are able. Good. And be safe. Both of you. Huh? <laughs> 
call Excalibur. What is this? A cold fire throws... What is this? A cold fire throws...
Sigurd. Shall we then, Eivor, to Norway and well beyond? To Norway, then. Good, good. Lead on. shaped us more than all the decades we spent here, brother. And it's bloody cold. Colder than I remember. Who will share a tale? When I was eleven winters old, I was the youngest of my favorite cousins. A wild and rowdy bunch of boys and girls. This is Harold's fair hair's kingdom now. Every peak and fjord. It pains me to say it. To think it even. And our father is full, the poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to hound the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lapdog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. Were you at the good part yet? Together with our parents, we attended a feast at the home of Halfdan the Black of the House of Ingling. To toughen our patience, our parents set us with the old woman, who ordered us to bake flatbreads and serve it to the noble yards. Alrek starts. It thrives. In spite of our father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. But maybe you will light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns. Hold up here. All right, back to the store. Hold on, good scout. Hey! What was it Randy said? Our... Show me what lies ahead. Hey, we were speaking. What was it Randy said? Our father spends his days in the mead halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the mead halls. I remember one nearby. A sad hole where men soak their unhappiness. We should look there. We come empty-handed. Not even a gift to offer. Rats don't appreciate gifts. They sniff and lick. Hey, but... Be my eyes, Sunan. Rats don't appreciate gifts. They sniff and lick. That poor Without soaker. He you are chipper, leaves. brother. From sun up to sundown, he just sits there, staring into his horn. Once, just. We should go. Look at him. Father. Sigurd? My son, Eivor, by Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood! We are not here to drink or make merry. 
Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. There was nothing sensible about your betrayal. Sigurd should have been king. You robbed him of that. Who did I betray? A son who was never home? A selfish boy with no sense of leadership? An arrogant You strength? lie! I have led numberless men into battle and countless ships and raids across all the known world. <laughs> you talk of kingship as if it were a matter of counting the notches on your axe. But to lead means so much more. I passed my crown to Harald because he was a man who understood the challenge put before him. Unlike you. You pathetic worm! Sigurd, this is not why we came. Plans change. As do hearts. Not this one. And you, Eivor? You should have told us of your plan to bend the knee to Harald. And spared me the shame of seeing my father debase himself like a gutted pig. You are right. I owed you the truth, and for that I am sorry. But I will not apologize for what I did. Then I have nothing left to say to you. My son, please! You've spoken your words, and Sigurd has heard them. What happened to my son? Turmoil did he see that took his arm and darkened his mood? He saw his father for what he truly was. A coward who faced his enemies with more honesty than he did his family. I was a father to you, Eivor. I have no father. This sad business is finished. And good readers. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Eivor. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father. Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The Saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods, all of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. 
I felt at home among them, warmed by their love. You should know, you are not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oath, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Ormadur of Karkem Abdur. Off we go. Run up the sail. Doris of Ayi, bless our passage. Yes. I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This ordeal with the elf king, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he will push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England, and we stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy folks. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful fuel. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, the loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. But she was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him. And no one believed us when we were young, and we chiseled our plants onto tables in meat halls. Not even my father. There is the secret I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I'm with you, brother. Until the end. A white rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! Do you know the way? As I know my own mind, we will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw. Do not worry. To Paris and a lonely fjord would be the shame of our clan. Ha! That we would. Can we not wait for this to pass? Ah, oh, 
the sting of eye some skin. Revel in this, Eivor. We walk the footpath of the gods. To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow? To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? With a ship, where we have mead and food to warm us. No! We must confront the omens and honor the gods. They will not seek or find you. We must go to them. We would be poor company, with frozen bones and ice pellet for ice. You need not fear the cold, Eivor. Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch. Better cold as wind from Niflheim. Keep steady. It should not be far now. I hope so! There. A frozen lake. This must be it. And ahead lies a cavern. Will you not say where this leads? Ah, you will see soon enough. I'm too late to turn back, I fear. There! The cave! Within hides the sacred gate! This looks fragile. Can you please? <laughs> My heart races. This is it. Gods. This door. Have you seen this before? In the space above. The Saka stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svachoi nog vat uns membro trurvon di quorde, uns solas vras gnogadide, uns um hugas reis derae chasaunsi. How did you do this? Where did you learn these words? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories of a life once lived. Come. Gods. What is this place? This plate will lead us onward. Hoerasi!
this vessel? Was it drafted by dwarves? It is finely made. That much is true. I doubt Buna could hammer a piece any finer. And this cavern, so deep and humming with magic. There, the old tree, the tree of life. What is this? See how proudly she sits, how beautiful she gleams. Here, all the roots of life run together. The skulls would cry to behold such a sight. And there is more to come. I swear by all the names of the Old Father, this is only a taste of what I have in store for you. For my visions go further, to Odin's great hall. There. Do you feel that? The sacred energies? I have never seen something so grand. This shrine is ours. It will open for us. Watch and see for yourself. How do you know these things? Was all this in your vision? All this and more. Smaller? Volker's mother? How did she come to be here? Yes, it is returning to me now. This ancient shrine is set alight by the sphere of metal. And these shining arms, these branches, they will grant us access to the refuse of the gods. To Valhalla, are you ready? Sigurd, take great care. We should not tinker with the tools of the gods. You speak for yourself, Eivor. For I am no mortal. I see that now. I know it. Take your place at the center there, and you will see. What is this place? you would come. Welcome. Are you... Are you Valka's mother? Swala? You have a keen eye, Wolfkist. After all this time, Eivor, we have arrived. 
Now raise a horn with Freya here and sing a victory song. Sigurd, what is all this? Your, your arm has returned, and your vicar as well. Glory eternal, Eivor. Here we dine in the great hall of the slain. At long last. Oh, I want to scream with joy. This is... This is all so beautiful. Your visions were... They were real. The battle has closed! Come, dear! To the field! Fight with us! Go, Eivor. Enjoy the fight. You have earned your place here. <laughs> The strength I have! This place is incredible! Enough with those short flies! You and I must fight! The battle we never had! And hold nothing back, for here we need not fear a thing! Spill the eternal blood of Valhalla! At last, I share the day of infinite battle with a true... Brother! Worry not, Eivor. <laughs> For we earn no scars here, only battle wisdom. What just happened? Sigurd, your arm has grown back. It was never gone, Eivor. Not truly. Nothing is permanent here. I told you. Nothing save the courage and reputation of its warriors. Are we immortal in this place? <laughs> Let us discover that together. A new day. To the marrow's bed. Again, you've lost your arm. And again, it will. Oh, 
Father, is that you? That cannot have been my father. The Harvey returns to lead us to victory. Skull! Skull! Take your horn. Join the battle cheer. Dearest Skull, the war and verse. How do you like this frenzy so far? It is... It is quite something. Raise your horn, Evo. What stalks you? My father, Varin. Have you seen him in this hall? I have not. Should he be here? No, he died a coward. Yet by Odin's eye, I swear I've seen him. Cast aside your cares in Valhalla. Let seeking go. We have earned our joy. The journey is complete. Great warriors, have you seen Varin? Who? Varin. My father. Varin? Father? This fucking arm, I'll beat a man to death with it. Do you not tire of his injuries? Never. Wait. Father? Eivor, you have a guest. You should have knocked first. Nonsense! I brought you someone. Look! My Eivor! There you are! What a warrior you have made of yourself! I am overfilled with pride. How did you find your way here? You remember our great battle? You remember how we fought, side by side, with your mother and Sigurd and our clans united? We fought, father, but you did not. You died a coward. Eivor, enjoy this. Your father has returned. <laughs> ah! Ah! Have you lost all your love for life? That was not my father. That was a lie. That was not a lie. That was my gift to you. I have power here, and I can do as I please. You wished to see your father. I made it happen. As easy as breathing. By Odin's laws, my father is not allowed in this place. I do not wish to see him where he should not be. 
Your father died doing what he hoped would save you. He died to protect you and his clan. No. He... This is the end of our road, Eivor. This is Valhalla, the eternal golden field. Now come. Battle beckons. How is all this possible? How were the slain brought here? The Valkyries know this. Only them. No, that cannot be true. None of this feels right. Do not despair, Eivor. Look, your friends are here. Everyone you could ever want is here beside you. No, they are not real. This place can be whatever you wish it to be, Eivor. I do not want it. Not like this. You would resign yourself to an empty death? The ecstasy I feel here is an illusion. I would sooner call like a raven than sing a false song. Illusion or not, here there is no death, no pain, no loss, no betrayal. Not like out there. You want this? To live inside a lie. I am an old woman with a broken body. What life I had left was brief. So I bid farewell to my dear Volka. And came here. I wish you well, Swala. But this is not for me. I must find Sigurd. the fucking arm! Sigurd, this is an illusion. A trick. Leave with me now, and return to England with me. Our people need us. No. I am no one in that world. I am somebody here. Powerful. Capable. A god. Here I may live forever. Here I cannot die. Cows die. Family die. You must die. The only thing that never dies is the reputation of the one who's died. In here, you have no reputation. But out there, it's not too late. Every day the same empty war, the same hollow victory, spilling blood that tastes of water and smells of grass. You have known real battle real glory. But this is not it. You know this. I know you do. Brother, it is time to leave. Am I destined to follow you everywhere? Till the end of my life? All right. We go. No, you stay. I do not give you leave to go.
Why leave this place? A glory you fought so hard to find. Walk with me. I am humbled to walk with you, Eivor. Your reputation is a song warriors will sing forever. You are the wolf-kissed one, who lingered at the edge of death, yet fought back. You spilled the raven wine of battle to paint whole kingdoms red. You have killed kings and crowned them as you desired, bowing to none. You stood tall where your brother stumbled, yet still you came to his aid. great foes in your brief time. You have earned your place here, Eivor. Seize it. Stand aside. My people need me. I have given you everything you wanted. Everything you needed. You gave me nothing. It was all me. Yet I cleared your path. I guided your axe. You were a fly, buzzing in my ear. How dare you deny me? Everything you believe in stirs before you. Yet you question all. You question the very gods. Do not diminish yourself. Your corpse hall is nothing but a dream. Nothing but a dream. A dream is as real as anything in this world. Do dreams not inspire? Do dreams not make us fearful? Do they not push men to their greatest glories? Then I am done with dreaming. Why do you oh. dream? Your axe wields like a true wolf. Do not flee your destiny. What are you doing? Take up your axe, wield like a true warrior. Come back.
Sigurd, are you... are you with me? Sigurd! Ah, the Hanged One awakes. Feet upon the ground once more. Eivor, be careful! Vasim? What is this? Come closer, Eivor. Let me get a better look at you. Leave him be, Vasim. For too long I stared at the sun. It blinded me to the truth. That it was you. It was you I wanted all along. Did you track us here? Like a cowardly fox concealed in the brush? You widowed my destiny, Wolfkist. You broke all my hopes. He's mad, Eivor. Silence him! Come, Eivor. Come save your crippled prince of dead ravens. Are you hurt? It is nothing. Go. Kill that background. A thousand times what I suffered. What is this about? My son, Eivor. This is about my son. You speak nonsense, Basil. We shared so much in England. Fought and bled together. Eivor, into the wellspring of your memory. Speak your grievance. Show yourself. I do not wish to fight with you. Ah! 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 
just make this more interesting. We'll drag Sigurd into the fray. Coward! Face me! Fight me here! me no joy, Justice Bringer. You were always so kind, but you chose the wrong side. Huh? I am your prize, Basim. Come. You are indeed. Will you not die? been planning this treachery. I dare not guess. Gods, am I to be hounded by a parade of blood-minded traitors the whole of my life? There is no end to this. You have something you want to say? Then say it. I... I need to... A man's anger. His rage. It had a familiar sting that I... I cannot place. He was raving, Sigurd. Without sense or reason. Paid no mind. I am not mad, Eivor. These things I see and feel, I know they are true. I know, brother. Now more than ever, you always spoke true. We should cast our eyes towards home. It is a long journey and I am not well. Eivor, on our journey here, I had much time to think on the ecstasies and the agonies of our friendship. I am not the man I was. My time as the Jarl of our clan has run short. You must lead us now. Do you mean this? When Dark called you out and challenged you to a duel, you let him die with honor in spite of his betrayal. He did what he felt was right, and I honored that. And when I passed judgment on Holger, you let my sentence lie. Though I knew you disagreed, the look on your face said all. And I remember and admire the way you guided us from Norway to England. You kept my anger in check, my ambitions focused. It was a trying time. And all my days away, my fog of confusion, you have shown great wisdom and strength and leadership. Where you go, Eivor, I will follow. Our clan 
is yours to lead. Thank you, brother. I... I won't let you down. You have a stormy look. Years ago, before we left for England, I saw a vision. A vision that foretold a betrayal. That I would betray you. I refused to believe it. I would never do such a thing, I told myself. But in the years since, I have robbed you of your dreams. Of England, of Valhalla. If you feel I have wronged you, brother, I will make it right. We cannot unweave our fates, Eivor. All is laid before us, from the day we are born. To be angry at this would be like... Like wrestling the ocean. A pointless struggle. We two ragged ravens. What a saga we have inscribed together. <laughs> a tale for the ages. Bex, I'm coming out. Steady, Layla. Were you watching my feed? What the hell was all that? I think that was the solution to our problem. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Desmond. Desmond? What about him? He was just a bartender before he joined us. Not even a very good one. And that's when he learned his real purpose. He was like a... I don't know, like a singularity. You know? A vanishing point. All of human history seemed to converge on him. In 2012, the sun threw off a mass coronal ejection so large, it should have wrecked all life on Earth. I remember. I worked at Abstergo then. It was Desmond who saved us. He knew how to stop it. Abstergo claimed credit for that. Something about their satellite network. That's bullshit. It was Desmond. He pulled the switch that saved the world. But that switch is still on. Still generating a magnetic field. One that's growing stronger every day. The temple Eivor found. That's where the field originates. Exactly. And it's been running for eight years. Getting stronger and stronger. It'll be dangerous now. Heat, radiation... Doesn't matter. We have to fix it. Shut it down. No, no, no. Slow it down. It's still protecting us. All of this is starting to make sense. Everything I've done, everything I've learned, it led me here to this moment. You'll need the staff for this one. For protection. Otherwise, you won't make it past the first gate. Right, of course. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'll pack the van. And I'll contact our ship. It can be in Boston Harbor by tomorrow night. Thanks, Max. Thanks for keeping it steady in there. You surf this thing better than anyone I know. That's not true, is it? Well, nearly. Be careful out there. And come back in one piece. Thanks, Bex. I'm ready. It's a long way to Beantown. Hop in. Sean, I'm here. Ah, good. Your signal's already a little wobbly. Are you inside? Not yet, but there's a hundred feet of ice above me. 
All right, we may lose touch when you push through, so remember what we talked about. Watch your meters carefully, for radiation especially, and keep the staff close. Got it. Standing by. Zawahoe Nakwat, Unsme Borturwan di Quarde, Ul Solus Fras Hunakudi De, Unzum Huraz, Besdere Haz, Zohumsi. I'm in. The elevator still works. Ah, uh, 75,000 years. What's another millennium or two? It's getting hotter already. Yes, by our reckoning, it's gonna go up by about 16 degrees Celsius. How does it draw so much power? Tectonics is our best theory. The movements of the Earth's crust, the churning lava beneath. Huge source of energy. That's tech humans should have. Energy, not pieces of Eden. You're breaking up, Sean. Say that again, please. You're breaking up. Forget it. I'll call you when I'm topside. Why don't you try calling it when you're topside? Something like that. Here we go. There you are. You're working overtime. Must have collapsed when the ice melted. Whoa! whoa. Steady. <laughs> A pool of water from all that melted ice. Look down. Thank <laughs> you. 
Why would anyone want to end their life here? Unless they felt it was just beginning. It's just like the Endless. It's just like the Endless. Valhalla, or, or a simulation of it. So what am I looking for? Will I know it when I see it? Something feels off. Are you doing this? Are you pushing this machine to its limit? So here we went in fealty to our master. Who's your master? Is he here? Flatter me. I am only a guest in their world, a world spun of wishes and hopes. Basim, you sent the message. You led us to Eivor's grave. Yes, a hopeful message, was it not? How? You've been trapped here for a millennium. Eivor put you here. Indeed, but I'm not alone in this place. Not always. I have a friend who helps me. Together, we read the calculations. After we located Eivor's probable resting place, I contacted you. Through the digital lasses that enwebs this earth like a spider's nest. In our day, all the world was connected like this. A superorganism of technology. The staff you carry the temples you have visited, all of it speaks as one. May I show you something? I imagine you can do anything you want in this place. Not as much as you might think. I am tethered to my body in a most uncomfortable way. But you can slow this machine down. You know how it works. Yes. We'll do it together for another catastrophe is near at hand. This node of time has an ugly way of correcting itself. Go ahead. You're a hard man to trust. You must know that. You're not obliged to trust me. But this is all I can offer. Layla, hello. 
You know me? Yes. Through the calculations I read here in the Grey. Eight years ago, the odds of your arrival were 15,055,003,276 to 1. As the years passed by, those odds improved. And as of yesterday, near even. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Who are you? And what is this? I am the reader of the calculations. All these... possible futures for you and the world outside. I have spent much of my new life reading these. Searching for a way to finish everything we started so long ago. It begins here. You slow down this machine and save the world, from which point all possible futures expand. Millions upon millions of possible roads. But in every one, another catastrophe recurs. The node collapses and the world is wiped out. The human race dwindles and fades. I must keep looking. I must find the solution for you. I must leave you with something. This node? This is right now where I slow down this machine? Yes. I start all my calculations from this point. The only thing I know for certain. That seems limiting. How do you mean? What if you went back further, to 2012 when Desmond saved the world? Desmond? What if he didn't save the world? What if he walked away and let the world burn? Look at those timelines. Read them instead. I see. An interesting idea. Fascinating. Billions upon billions of new timelines to explore. Exactly. These are timelines that never came to pass, but they could have. If Desmond had let the world be destroyed, maybe the humans that survived would have learned something from the disaster. And maybe in one of those timelines, they could have found a way to prevent it from happening ever again. That is brilliant. How did you come to that idea? If you spend too much time narrowing down what's possible, you may never give another thought to the improbable. Thank you for your insights, Layla. It's only the beginning. We have a lot of data to sift through. Are you staying? Until we find something useful, I will. I don't want this to happen ever again. You may not have much time, Layla. The machine is powered down, but the radiation... It will linger for decades. By my calculations, you have 73 seconds before your exposure is lethal. I'm not worried. I have the Staff of Eden. It heals and protects. No. You do not. What? How? Of course. Of course? Fuck! Alright. We'll find a solution together. However long it takes. And if that means I can never leave... So be it. I owe this to the people I... I hurt. The people I love. Yes. I know the feeling. Let's get going, huh? A few billion timelines might take a while. It will. But it will not feel like it. That is what I like about this place.
choice. And I chose to stay. You'll wonder where I am. You might wonder if I am. I don't know how to answer that. But I'm not afraid. And I'm not alone. We have work to do. Work that may take us days or years. It's impossible to say. But we'll finish it. What I mean is... Don't come looking for me. It's too dangerous and... And too late. Take care of yourself. Take care of the world we still have. And take care of... You see, she's fine. In a manner of speaking. A manner of speaking? Jesus, we have to find her. You heard her. She doesn't want to be rescued. Bullshit. In any case, there's nothing left to save. Not after this long. Because of you? You left her there. This... This is all a bit much. I know I'm in the same situation. No, nope, no. Nope. You're in a class all your own, man. We're assassins now, not hidden ones. From the Arabic, Hashishin. Ah. And do we have a mentor? Is that still the practice? We do. Name? William Miles. William Miles. I'd like to meet William Miles. Would you bring him to me? We can call him. Encrypted line. You can talk to him right now. No technology. Face to face. A meeting of minds. It's time to take the fight to these... these Templars, as you call them. I won't go anywhere, my friends. Your animus is in good hands. How much do you know? My dear. Okay. It's a nice place to die, Eivor. Not everyone gets to choose. You bested me. I don't know how, but you did. Yet, I'm the one left standing. And now, I can take from you anything I want. Your memories, your skills, your secrets. They're all mine. And when I have them, I will put them to good use to find my children and bring my family back together. A quiet place to find an end. I almost envy you. I get my bearings. There is nothing we cannot achieve. The bleeding effect shouldn't take long to kick in. A few days at most. So here we go.
Steady, Eivor. Tovi. Welcome home. Missed a great feast, it seems. Eivor! Sit a moment and rest. Sigurd. For me. Gods, you are back. Safe and standing tall. Did you... Did you find what you were looking for? We did. We did. But it was not for us. What is this? I... Um... Eivor's returned! Inside of the hearth, come! Your secret is no longer safe. Eivor? Rangvi? What is this? Is everything all right? Our Jarl has returned to lead us forward into an uncertain future. Will you speak to your people? For love and joy, words can jade. Our souls must sound in a heartful song. And when... No. You're less mine than I'm yours. And I ask of you only this. Keep me honest in the times to come. Hearken well in Hall of Kings On ocean steep my words gain wings Odin's mead I form will bring For noble deeds thine honor sing We beat and blaze our trail of rest Till Odin gains upon the dead To fight for those who fall, for those who fight and those who fall, may horns resound the mighty hall. For we who fight, for we who fall.